Hey, what's going on guys? My name is CarQ and welcome to another One Tip Series remake. This time we're featuring Roadhog with an up and coming content creator. Hey everyone, my name's Six. I'm a Roadhog main that hit rank three on the NA ladder and I also do content creation for Twitch and YouTube. So let's start off with a general tip. When you hook someone as Hog, you can turn your crosser either to the left or to the right to displace them even further than you intended. Many people know about this because it's extremely useful for pulling your targets off the map. However, you can also pull your targets around corners, then body block them from returning to their team's line of sight. Don't be afraid of these corners and walls. Most of the times they'll get dragged right through. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Against Diva, you can pull her bomb away from your team and tank it with your take a breather ability. Remember to use the general tip of turn pulling to toss it out of line of sight where applicable. Additionally, when Diva remax, you can DMAC her immediately if you ult because she can't matrix and she doesn't get knocked back, which causes all your pellets to connect. With Orisa's shield now at 600 HP, it breaks after 4 secondary fire shots, so upon the 4th shot, immediately follow it up with a hook so Orisa doesn't have time to fortify. Make sure you look at the visual cue of Orisa's shield cracking, because if your team is also contributing damage to it, you might be able to go for a hook 1 or 2 shots earlier. If caught out of position in the Orisa Hog Mirror matchup, walk in front of your Orisa shield to break line of sight of the halts. Enemy Hogs in 3 would be able to hook you, but 99% of the time they're focused on looking at the halt instead of looking at you. Against Ryan, you can hook him out of charge to save a teammate, and in the middle of his fire strike. Additionally, the Ryan buff that makes it harder for him to move around is actually beneficial for Hog, specifically during his ultimate. You can now destroy his shield and kill him even quicker because he doesn't fly away from the knockback anymore, meaning more pellets connect. Against Hog, you generally don't want to hook first early in the fights. Keep firing until they use self-heal, then hook him out of it. In the case where you and the enemy Hog are thinking the same and trying to bait out each other's heals, you can go for the hook first if he goes to half HP because that's the kill range. If you're caught in Sigma's ult, Use your Ticket Breather just before you're dragged down to maximize the healing upon landing. A friendly reminder that as of patch 1.41, you can hook Sigma when he uses Kinetic Grasp, so look to do that whenever possible to prevent his shield gain. Winston is pretty vulnerable to Roadhog, so it's a matter of playstyle adjustment. Stick near your backline to protect him whenever you see this matchup. Additionally, when Winston pops Primal Rage, you can whole hog him to prevent him from playing the video game. Against Hammond, save Hook for when he pile drives. If you know Hammond's going for a pile drive, play out of range so you don't get knocked up, and you can go for an easy Hook when he pile drives into the ground. The riskier option depends on how mechanically confident you are, so you can gamble and attempt to grab him at the apex of his pile drive if you get the timing right. A bonus tip is to take damage from Hammond's mind when the coast is clear to feed yourself ult charge or for your supports. There are no downsides because the enemy Hammond does not gain ult charge from the mind damage. If you're in a Zarya duel, close your distance and spam her with primary fire. Once she uses her self bubble, take this time to heal up while following her. Then go for an easy hook kill. In some situations, you actually want to shoot to pop her bubble, like if she's already low HP and your team is assisting you. Know the Zarya bubble has 200 HP and Scrap Gun only deals 150 damage. So an additional 50 damage must come from your teammates or an extra shot from you. Against Ash, if Bob is contesting the point, use either Hook or Whole Hog to displace him. Sometimes you can catch Bob if he's just called down to stop him from ever getting to the point to begin with. Hooking Bastion out of sentry form is the best thing to do. Like the Orisa tip, you can break the shield, then immediately follow upon with a Hook, or have a friendly mate wall up the Bastion for a Hook. If Bastion is unaware, you can still hook him when he's behind the shield by either hooking his nose or finding a weird opening. After Doomfist lands with Meteor Strike, he is an easy kill. Shotgun plus hook combo will do the job. Additionally, certain Doomfist players have preset rollouts that they like to do. Save your hook and catch him midair during their seismic slam. Against Genji, use your whole hog against Dragon Blade in order to mess up his ult and save your team. There's an old tip where you can use your melee to bait out Deflect, but most Genjis don't fall for this anymore. It's way easier to force out Deflect by just shooting at him. After Hanzo uses Lunge, he becomes a quick and easy kill. Additionally, 
use Hans's ultimate as a way to gain ultimate charge for either yourself or for one of your supports when it's safe to do so. Against Junkrat, spam out Riptire with Scrap Gun, and if you fail to destroy it, use Southfield to survive the explosion. When McCree uses High Noon, hook him out of it or kill him using Secondary Fire. Also, you can survive about 3 seconds in his High Noon if you use Take a Breather to have his damage. Keep your distance from May, spam her with Secondary Fire to force her to use cooldowns, then engage Onder either solo with the hook combo or with the help of your team. Also, you can just whole hog her when she's getting out of Ice Block. This hero just sucks. In general, Farah isn't really your job to deal with as Hog, but you can potentially hook her if she's not too high and has just used Jump Jet because of the predictable animation. Additionally, when Farah is looking to barrage, you can either save your hook in order to cancel it or play the distance of your secondary fire. It's very possible to consistently one-shot Reaper. The combo is hook, walk forward, aim for the head, shoot, and melee. Believe it or not, Reaper cannot wraith out of it if you do it just right. You can also one-shot Reaper just with Scrap Gun alone, so you can walk up to him during his Death Blossom, catch him in Shadow Step, or even land a good flick, which is especially cool to do if you don't have your hook available. Against Soldier, just walk in front of him when he's using Tactical Visor, so he shoots you instead of locking under your teammates. Yourself, he'll pretty much just tanks the whole thing, and the idea of walking to his face will tend to scare him and force him to sprint away. Sunbird now has a delay before the MP comes out, so it's actually quite easy to hook her out of it as long as you're expecting it. The key here is to anticipate it rather than blindly reacting to it. Against Symmetra, breaking her wall with Whole Hog is possible since it has 4000 HP, while your ultimate does close to 5000 if every pellet connects. If you have damage amplifiers and your team is contributing some damage to it, you can reliably get rid of it quickly. Shoot at Torbjorn to force him to use Overload. Once he uses it, look away from him and use Take a Breather for the damage reduction and heals to not get chunked by his shotgun. Once his Overload is done, turn around on Torbjorn, hook, and headshot. Against Tracer, this matchup is relatively difficult because if she's good, she'll space you out correctly. You have to go for a prediction hook either on her recall or upon blink. Try to read some of her movement patterns, because many tracers often favor blinking to one side more frequently than the other. Against Widow, it is typically not your job to deal with, but if she uses grapple, then go in for an easy hook kill if you are in range. On specific maps, sometimes what I like to do is camp common Widow spots. So for example, on King's Row, I'll start defense rounds here with an emo to third person peek and wait till the Widow comes. Against Anna, learning the hook combo as mentioned earlier is probably the most crucial thing. There's a few changes though because of her character hitbox. So I prefer shooting with either primary fire or secondary fire before hooking, then walking forward and aiming for the chest or neck area instead of the head, shooting and then meleeing. Additionally, don't forget that you still have damage reduction on Take a Breather even when you are antied. Hook Batiste and drag him out of the lamp field using the general tip and perform the hook combo. Against Brig, her shield breaks in two shots now, so shoot one, then immediately hook after your second shots. Other than hooking Lucio out of sound barrier, if you get booped, try to flick your crosshair up and drag him down with you. If you don't have hook and you see Mercy rezzing, you can pop your ultimate and knock her away. You can't be too far beyond your hook range, because not enough pellets will connect for the knockback. Against Mora, there's not much to it. You can tank her damage, but you have to focus on hooking her when she's using Coalescence or after she fades. You can still hook Zen when he's in his ult to take away the healing from his team. Or to drop him off the map. And that's it for the Roadhog Tips remake. Thank you, Six, for joining us today, and thank you, Get Six, for making this custom background song for the series remake. Let me know which hero you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me, Karku. You can find me on YouTube under the name Six, spelled C-Y-X, and on Twitch at 66, S-I-X underscore C-Y-X.